I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We're famous for a few things up here. The windiest corner in the world, our mosquitoes, and lastly, we are known for our coldest and longest winters, comparable only to Siberia in Russia. This makes it very challenging as an outdoor photographer. You need to be ready to take photos in all conditions. The majority of my photography equipment is clothing, not cam gear. Over time, I've learned to just accept the weather. I try not to just hibernate in front of the TV all the time. And I have learned to get out there and dress up for the occasion. I have learned to embrace it. Over time, I have become aware of the color palette when dealing with the changing seasons. Each season has a different color palette from the next. In spring, the season is dominated by bright lime green and blue. It includes weaker yellows and oranges, but there's a lot of brown in spring as well. In summer, green dominates. Yellow and orange turn a bit darker. And blue is dominant in the sky and in the water. Color is everywhere. You don't have to go looking for it, you just have to capture it. In fall, the color palette changes. Fall is the season of the photographer. It's the most colorful time of the year. If you're a photographer, you don't want to miss out on this season. It doesn't last long, so you have to be ready. Greens fade and give way to deep reds, yellows, and oranges. The skies are filled with pink, orange, and purple. The world is almost magical. The world is photogenic. It's easy to capture a good picture in this season. Lastly, and there's a reason why I included last, is the season of winter. Finding color in this season is a task. For five or six months of the year, color palette is blue, faded yellow, orange and brown, and of course, the never-ending white. As winter is our longest season in Manitoba, there are three things that I've learned about winter in photography. First, if you want any color in your winter shots, you will have to shoot at sunrise or sunset. You will have to bring some color with you, or you will have to scour the earth for any last remaining pieces of it. The second thing that I've learned is that there's an unspoken rule that exists in Canada. You cannot show or post any pictures of winter before the first snow appears. You may post pictures of summer all through the winter, but you cannot do it the other way around. If you do, people go crazy. They turn on you. They're like a pack of wolves. They live in denial and do not want to be reminded of the long season that lies before them. Last, I'm generally not a negative, complaining person. But even I, who have embraced winter after six months of the cold, after six months of trying to be creative with the same color palette, I cannot wait for the coming of spring, the return of something green, the return of life. The only problem is that because of where I live, when the green finally does come, I have to contend with the wood ticks and the mosquitoes, which I'm okay with for the first couple of weeks and then I'm thinking of hibernating in front of the TV again. That's how we deal with the weather in Canada, eh? That's it for this video. Just mixing up the palette. Have fun and keep shooting.